Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, clash on the Euphrates River at Deir Azor, Syria. And what we got here is a picture of uh, Syria and Iraq. And we're going to focus in in the middle of Syria at De Deir Azor on the Euphrates River. And that is the focus of today's discussion. Uh, scripture references out of Joshua 1, verses 3 and 4. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads, I have given it to you, just as I spoke to Moses. From the wilderness in this Lebanon, even as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. And here we have the Euphrates River running through the city in Syria. Uh, and the land of the Hittites, and as far as the Great Sea toward the setting of the sun will be your territory. So eff effectively, from the Euphrates River to the Mediterranean Sea will be the borders of a future Israel. And the Euphrates River is the future eastern border of Israel. Now, this formation of Israel has not been fulfilled or realized. In June 2017, Russia issued a red line to the United States. And we'll back this out and take a look at this. Um, and supported Kurdistan forces. So the United States is supporting the Kurds, which would be in the yellow. And they said, do not go west of the Euphrates River. So here's the Euphrates River starting up here with the Green Star Free Syrian Army. Uh, that's a border of Turkey. In the far north, here's the Euphrates River. Russia says they want everything west of the Euphrates River to the Med, the United States, and their support of the Kurds and Iraq. They want everything east of the Euphrates River. Now, Russia effectively declared a no-fly zone from the Euphrates River west to the Mediterranean Sea. The United States, for their part, has demonstrated clear air superiority since the early 1990s. The U.S. reminded Russia and friends by shooting down a Syrian Su-22 fighter jet. So there appeared to be a gentleman's agreement between the United States and Russia. The Euphrates River will be the divider. Russia and its surrogates will stay west of the Euphrates, the United States and its allies will be positioned to the east of the river. Which brings us to today, September 13, 2017. Action is heating up on the Euphrates River at Deir Azor, Syria. And we will zoom in tight to the city once again. Uh, just a quick overview. In the red, we have Russia and the Syrian army. Shia. In the gray, we have ISIS, Sunni. In the yellow, we have the Kurds, supported by the United States, mostly Sunni. And everybody wants to get rid of the terrorists, ISIS, allegedly. Um, ISIS currently occupies the city, at least for now, but they're getting it from all angles, as you can see. The Syrian army, with the support of the Russians, is attacking ISIS from the west. Kurdish forces, also known as the Syrian Democratic Forces, or at SDF, are approaching from the north of the city with the support of the United States. And this is where we will zoom in really tight down here to the southern part of the city. Um, Russia is reported to have crossed their own red line, the Euphrates River. Now, there have been conflicting reports, tweets, all kinds of information. Who knows what's right, who's what's wrong, misinformation, whatever. Um, whether or not Russia and the Syrian army have actually crossed the Euphrates River. Now, there were some tweets that were out earlier, pictures, night pictures, of course, where you really couldn't see anything that said, Russia and the Syrian army had crossed the Euphrates River. Russia is also reported to have water bridges 
and boats on site. And of course the scramble for all of this has to do with oil fields. Uh, lots of oil in this area. So who wants to control the oil? And that's what it boils down to. Is the United States going to control the oil? Or is Russia going to control the oil? Um, now Kurds and Russian supported troops have promised not to fight each other in all of this. And this is a quote from the SDF spokesman, that would be the, the Kurd spokesman, uh, Talal Silo, and he told this to Sputnik News on Monday. We have clear instructions that after Daesh or ISIS is eliminated, we should not act against the forces of the Bashad, or I'm sorry, Bashar Assad regime, or against the Russian, Iranian, or the Hezbollah movement, which are allied with it. So, the Kurds, backed by the United States, promises not to engage Russia and its supported troops. And then there's this comment from a former Pentagon official, Michael Maloof, and he made the comments uh, to RT. And RT's out of Russia, Russian Times. Uh, it's going to be a race. It's going to be a race because you've got the Syrian army with Russian assistance coming in from the west, and you have the United States coming in from the north and the east. And so again, it's a big race for oil. And once ISIS is out of there, somebody's going to control the oil. Somebody's going to get the riches from all the oil. But, you know, here we go. And the only reason this is somewhat interesting is that, you know, effectively boundaries are being redrawn across the Middle East. And it just so happens that the boundaries are being drawn around the Euphrates River, which is the future eastern border of Israel. So, I mean, this... This discussion <laughs> from Joshua 1, you know, holy cow, 1,600 years before Christ. So we're looking at 36, 3,700 years ago. It's starting to come into play where the what, what was defined by God to be the, the borders of Israel. Uh, we're fighting over one of these borders right now. And... People are drawing up lines on the Euphrates River. So if you're interested, keep watching. Uh, PaulThePoke.com, keywords, Euphrates River. There's a category on the Euphrates River, and that's where you can find this post. Also, Russia, United States, Kurds, um, Hezbollah, Syria. You guys have a good evening. Take care.